some repel and some attract. Can you show me what it looks like to repel? How would you make that happen? And what's that called? Repel. repel. You know what repel means? Exactly. The Florida Department of Education Program Specialist for Science and STEM contacted me and said, can we please come and see what you're doing in Sarasota County? Because your scores are showing that you are outperforming most districts in the state. We did have decreases in fifth, eighth, and bio but we did notice that Sarasota continually is being successful as a county. So we really wanted to get out here to see what they were doing, hear the ideas they have to bring science all the way down to kindergarten and instill that culture so we can share it with the rest of the state. How come it's spinning like that? It's following it, how come? No, why? It's attracted. So when they're not attracted, what happens? They push away. What's that called? Repel. Repel. My goodness. Oh, today is all about really seeing young students engaged in scientific inquiry and that they learn through having fun and that it's all about questioning and problem solving and approaching science in a way that makes it meaningful for students. Bingo. Can, now, can you make something stick to the top of the triangle? Let's see. I'm happy to share them because what I'm most proud of those practices that I've shared with DOE today is the fact that they really have nothing to do with cost. I think they're very simple to implement. It's really about scheduling, setting high expectations, making sure all staff understand we all have a role in this and it starts in kindergarten. Science instruction does not begin in fifth grade. That's where it's assessed. And when everyone does their part, as a staff, we achieve these results. That's resourceful. So when I look up in the night sky... You're not going to see anything because the side that is lit is going to be away from us. So we're going to um, not see anything. Way to go. Give me a fist pump. That's, perfect. That's incredible. Yeah. Every elementary school has a specials wheel, which are really the exploration classes that kids experience. And at our school, we choose to do it on a five-day consecutive schedule. So that means our kids go to PE for five consecutive days, science for five consecutive days, dance for five consecutive days. We have a technology lab where the same things are happening. Kids are engaged in technology projects that if I start this today and I only come back to this class maybe in seven school days, it's not quite the same for me as a student and for my teacher as we work together for five consecutive days. I think it makes strong instructional practices happen. When my principal, Mr. Dragon, asked me to have you guys in, I felt honored that he would feel that I was kind of a representative science teacher for our school. It was exciting. And what does that mean? This one is the new moon, and it's We can't see it, but it's always lit by the sun. I see. I just wanted to bring something in that would be hands-on, that they could be carving and going from an abstract idea to something that they can actually do kinesthetically to really um, understand the phases of the moon. Well, I think it was evident from our conversations this morning that we had with principals that we are focused on science in Sarasota County, and we are doing everything to make it part of the culture of our schools, not an add-on, not something you do when you have a few moments, but it is be part of learning in every classroom every day. So what we've done as an administrative team is we made sure that each and every teacher can see what time of the day they are supposed to be teaching science, just like they have a language arts block and they have a math block and they have a lunch period in a special area. Because I think if we don't put that into the schedule, it's not as likely to happen. And our expectation is starting in kindergarten, three of those five daily blocks need to be science. Well, I think the most exciting thing to me is seeing the dedication that the leadership has all the way at the top and it's trickling down where 
science is something that needs to be a focus. They are helping teachers coming up with their schedules. This is where it needs to fit in, different ways to integrate it through content. Uh, so it's pretty spectacular to see this kind of model with that kind of that dedication. Is pretty amazing. What do they start out as? as a, um, they start out as eggs. Excellent job. No way. Oh my goodness, he, he's already changing. Yeah, we have one frog. One have two frog. frog. No, we have two frogs. Just that I'm so proud of what we do in our district and our young students, and, and it, we see that evidence as they progress from elementary to middle school to high school, that we have students who are truly prepared to be scientists of our future.